What's up, everybody? This is Brian Boyle from Brian Boyle Music and the Producers Forum. Welcome to my first of many video tutorials on Pro Tools 8 LE. Uh, I wasn't exactly sure where to start, so I figured I would start from the very beginning and work my way up. So this is my quick start guide that will get you up and recording in no time. Some of the things that we'll be going over in this session are uh, plugging in, how to make a new session, uh, how to add some tracks, switching windows, setting the tempo and click track, and finally recording. Okay, so before launching uh, Pro Tools LE, uh, you want to make sure that your interface is plugged in. Uh, I've got an Mbox and it's plugged into a USB port onto my computer. Uh, if you've got a Digi02, make sure it's plugged into your Firewire. Uh, if you try to launch the software and it's set, you get an error that says something like uh, interface not found, uh, try a different port or make sure that you've downloaded the correct audio driver for your computer. Otherwise, I'll just assume that you've got Pro Tools to launch uh, and you're looking at the same screen I am here. Um, just got Pro Tools up here at the top. Um, where we're going to start is we're just going to go to File, uh, New Session, and uh, we're going to create a blank session. You want to make sure that you're recording in uh, Wave. Your sample rate is 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, our bit depth is 24, and our I/O settings are a stereo mix. Let's go ahead and hit OK to create that session. Uh, it's going to ask you where you want to save it. I usually like to save my sessions in my documents in a folder called Pro Tools Sessions, and we'll name this Quick Start Guide. All right. So now we've got a new session, but there is nothing in it. So what we're going to do first is we are going to add some tracks. And the way you do that is going up to the top here, uh, selecting track, new, and go ahead and create one mono track, an audio track, uh, in samples. And the way you do that is you hit create. And there you go. You'll see you created a track. Uh, if you want to create multiple tracks, there's a way to do that. Um, I'm going to create another mono track. I'm going to hit this plus button, and then I'm going to create one stereo master fader. There you go. And that can save you some time if you're creating multiple tracks at one time and you don't want to uh, uh, keep going back to that window. Okay, so we've created some tracks, but um, still nothing in them. Uh, it's still not doing much. Uh, we want to be able to navigate around Pro Tools. So right now we're looking at the edit window. Uh, but we also want to be able to look at the mix window. Uh, the way you go to the mix window is going up to the top here once again, this button called window. Click it, and you'll see mix. Aha. And that'll bring you to a different screen. This is your mix window. Um, they work in conjunction with one another, the edit and mix. You'll see uh, audio 1 here. It's the same as audio 1 here. Audio 2, same as audio 2. And Master Fader is the same as the Master Fader. Um, a really useful shortcut, uh, you saw me just switching back and forth between those screens without um, actually hitting Window, Mix, uh, Window, Edit, um, is the Command Equals. Command Equals will allow you to toggle between the Edit and Mix windows um, without going all the way up to the window, dragging down. It's a very useful shortcut. It'll save you a lot of time in the long run. Okay, so now we've got these tracks, but uh, we don't have anything on them. Uh, we don't have any names. They're just called Audio 1, Audio 2. So the way we change that is simply double-clicking on it. You'll see it pops up. Let's call this one Vocal. Uh, and you can hit Next, and that'll bring you down to Audio 2. You can change that to, let's say, Electric Guitar. And we'll leave Master Fader called Master. So we've got all these tracks set up and we have a tempo, but we don't have a click track. So why don't we go ahead and go up to track, create click track, and you'll see that drops the click right in here. We can move that by just clicking in and dragging it uh, down to where we want it. Uh, you can mute it or solo it um, in case you want to turn it on or off. Um, and right now our tempo, as you can see right here, is set to 120 beats per minute. I'm going to go ahead right now and actually hit play so you can hear the click track. Pretty straightforward. 
Um, you'll also notice that I didn't actually hit the play button up here. A uh, very useful shortcut in Pro Tools is to just hit the space bar. The space bar will just play um, the audio from wherever the playhead is located. Now, we've set a click and we've got a tempo, but maybe that's not the right tempo. When you launch Pro Tools, the default tempo is 120 beats per minute. Um, if you double click on that diamond there, it brings up the tempo change. Now there's two ways you can change the tempo. You can actually punch it in. You can do 140, say. Or you can actually use the T key in between R and Y. And you can actually tap out a tempo. If you're listening to something or you've got somebody playing behind you, um, you can actually tap along with that tempo and it will change it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You get the idea. That was a little fast at the end, but just wanted to prove a point. Um, the T is for tap tempo. So you can do that or you can actually set in a default value. So let's say I'm going to make this at 80 beats per minute. So we've got our tempo set up, we've got our track set up. Now we just want to record. So we're going to switch back to the mix window. You're going to make sure that your in out settings are the same as where you've plugged your guitar in. So I've got my guitar plugged into input 2 DI in the back of my M box. You want to make sure that your input for the guitar track is set to input to the same place it's plugged in on your M box. Uh, once you do that and you hit the record button, the audio from your guitar should come through. Just like that, a little loud. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch back to the edit window. Prime to record here by clicking it once. Once you've got both of these prime to record, you can hit play or spacebar and that will start a recording. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the spacebar and I'm going to play the guitar. So that is how you get up and running and recording in Pro Tools 8 LE. Um, stay tuned for more video tutorials. Uh, if you liked what you saw or it was helpful at all, please subscribe. And uh, if you know any producers that um, are using Pro Tools and might need some help, please let them know. Forward it on to them. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. All right.